So if I had to pick one shot that's really helped me get from the 4.5 level to 5.0, it's gonna be the backhand reset. It's a super important shot, it's not an easy shot, but um, it's definitely helped me in my game. My name is AJ Scarp, I'm a former table tennis player who now plays pickleball. And in this video, I'm gonna hopefully teach you guys how to get to that prestigious 5.0 level. I'm gonna give you some tips and advice. I'm gonna teach you a drill that's helped me. And then I'm gonna give you some important strategies and tips when in tournament play. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the quickest way to get to that 5-0 level in pickleball is to get a good coach. If you're in the Orlando area, I wanna give a shout out to Cliff Pickleball and Tony who play at the Clear One facilities. They're great coaches. But in order to get to that 5-0 level, you have to have all the fundamentals down. You're gonna to have to have your dink down. You're gonna to have to ha hit good third shot drops. You're gonna to have to be able to drive the ball have to be able to do resets. You're gonna have to hit 10 out of 10 serves and 10 out of 10 serve returns. And once you have those down, then you can get to the 5-0 level. My favorite drill is to mix up resets with counters. So I like to hit two or three resets in a row. And then on the third attack, I like to counter with my backhand. Gives me a little variation. So let's give it a shot, Rafa. So in order to hit this shot effectively or do this drill effectively, for your reset, you want to come down with your paddle with a soft grip. And then your counter, you kind of tighten your grip a little bit, keep that paddle out in front of you, and you swing up through the ball, hitting it in front of your body like this. So you reset a little closer to your body, and you counter a little bit further away from your body like this. So to get to that 5-0 level, yes, resetting is super important, getting back up to the kitchen line, but also varying your shot selection. So being able to counter these shots is gonna throw your opponents off. Um, it's gonna help you maintain some aggression and some forward motion. So then you get on the offensive. And when, to get to that level, you can't just be defense. Yes, defense is important, but you really have to have that offense too. So once you have all the fundamental shots down, once you've been practicing that backhand reset, Next step is bringing all that you have to tournaments. I'm gonna to teach you some strategies and tips on how to be effective in tournaments. The first tip seems obvious, get sleep the night before. You can't be tired when you're playing. Tip two, get a good warm-up in. So a good warm-up is super important. You can't just show up and start playing and expect to play at your top level. Um, it's better to be tired and get a good warm-up in than to be full of energy and just play poorly. You're gonna lose. Tournament tip three, this one's very important. Don't go into a match with preconceived notions about how your opponents are gonna play. So let's say your buddies have just played them and they say, oh, you know, this guy has no forehand. Maybe that's true, but only against them. It might not be how he plays against you guys. So don't go out thinking you're just gonna take this one thing and win a game, because style matchups affect the dynamics of each match. So go in, play your game at first, play consistent, get to the kitchen, see how you're winning or losing points and then adjust your game to play your opponents. Tip four, put away your ego in games. Don't have pride when you're going into a tournament. Your, your goal is to be a team and to beat your opponents. So let's say, oh, I've got a great flashy shot. If it's not working all the time and it's not gonna be your best strategy, don't do it. You know, how are you guys gonna win as a team? That's the most important thing. Um, if, you're a, if your partner's playing better than you, let him play, let him hit more shots than you. If you're missing your third shot drops, let him come over and take those third shot drops. You know, every match is gonna be different. You both are gonna be playing at higher and low, lower levels throughout your tournament. So adjust to your partner and don't have an ego when you go into play. Tournament tip five, minimize your mistakes. While you're playing, pay attention to how you're losing points. Let's say your backhand's failing you, you know, they just keep hitting backhand dinks and you're putting them in the net. Okay, tell your partner, hey, I'm struggling here. I need you to help pinch middle. I'm gonna run around my back end. I'm gonna hit a forehand or I'm gonna take it out of the air. Identify what's not working and then adjust. Tournament tip six, exploit your opponent's weaknesses. If you've won three or four shots in a row by driving the ball down the middle, 
Continue to do that until they adjust. Find out what's working for you and keep doing it. Tournament tip seven, have good defense. Keep getting the ball back. Keep fighting for every ball. Make sure they have one more shot to hit before they win the point. If you do that in every point, in every match, you're gonna win extra points throughout playing. It's gonna give you an edge on your opponents. Okay, my final tournament tip to you, and it's a very underrated skill to have, is knowing when to take your timeouts. So, everybody knows, oh, I lost four points in a row, timeout. Yeah, you should, but you probably should take a timeout before that. There's three, three specific times you should be taking timeouts. Whenever momentum is shifting to your opponents, Let's say you've just won three in a row and then you have an extended rally with your opponents and It's three times as long as any other point and then the crowd cheers when your opponents win the point You really just won one point You don't want to let that momentum go to their side. You don't want the crowd to get behind them Call a timeout stop right there reset play fresh The third time is if you ever have an easy shot an easy put away and you miss and then you're flustered so yeah, it should have been your point, but you've just messed up and now you're thinking about it. Okay, time out. Reset your mind, get ready to play back again. Don't let it lead into more points for your opponents. So what did we go over today? You gotta have your fundamentals down. You, we practiced our backhand resets and we learned some important tips and tricks and strategies for when you're actually playing in tournaments. Take these things and get to that 5-0 level. All right, everybody, I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe, Cliff Pickleball and I'll see you on the courts.